Thumbs up! Join us as we airstream the redwoods, both driving the redwoods and staying in a redwood forest. And we had a really nice morning fire, watching the sun just beaming through the redwoods this morning. How does it feel being the pooper releaser? I love all the banana slugs. Good job, but somebody has to do it. <laughs> Here's Iridessa all tucked in, snug as a bug. In the Redwoods. It was pretty awesome seeing in the Redwoods, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. We'll take you from Harris Beach in Oregon all the way to Alala River Redwood Park in California. We already have a pretty long drive day of six and a half hours. And that's just according to Google Maps. But we decided to extend that by over two hours by taking the Avenue of the Giant Scenic Route. You and I come a long way together. You and I got a long way to go. Oh, you don't have to ask me now and never. Cause I'm already yours. We airstreamed the entire 31 miles of the Avenue of the Giants, taking in the outstanding views of the Redwoods at a little faster pace than we did yesterday. Next stop, California One. We are also sure to take the official start of California One and leg it, but we may have regretted that decision, as one of us may have actually thrown up after that twisty turny drive. Some say love is a winding road. Cause a man through the darkest night Some say love takes a heavy load Helps someone make the burden light Teaches you not to hold too tight But I'm glad she can laugh about it now You and I come along It'll be too much longer to look, Lou, we're getting back to the coast now you Feel the coastal air Man, it's cold I know Goodbye, crazy mountain Finally made it to the coast again. Yeah. Really the view. How you picture there, honey? A little foggy. Driving California One has been on my bucket list for a while now, but this wasn't quite how I pictured it. Luckily, tomorrow is a new day with a bright, beautiful sun, so stay tuned for our next video in which you'll see California One much brighter. We finally made it to Walala River Redwood Park after a really long day. The whole drive was quite scenic, but still very exhausting. We were so glad to get parked in those redwoods. Trees, why am I thinking about trees? Why am I wondering how they feel when they can't have emotions? Maybe I'm just a passionate person. So we are officially camping in the redwoods. It's pretty cool here. Iridessa. And here Alexis partying over there. Here's Iridessa all tucked in, snug as a bug. In the Redwoods. After settling in, we go check out the Walala River, where Alexis is greeted by a man eating bird. I can't swim that well without goggles, and I couldn't find them. Well, don't jump off. Just walk back the way you came. Oh, man, that bird is approaching me. It's okay, honey. <laughs> it's not a man-eating bird. It's a heron. They yeah. like fish. Well, I'm as big as a fish. So this is a pretty cool deal. This is the cathedral tree. It was one large stump that acted as a nurse log to all these little tree seedlings. And then all the little seedlings grew up to these big trees. And then you come inside. Peekaboo, guys. Hi, sweet. Hey, guys. <laughs> and then look, it's like a, the coolest fork. It's really neat. Why would it grow like this? The next morning, as I step out of Aridessa Airstream, I'm greeted by a giant banana slug. They say everything's bigger in Texas, but I'm beginning to think that everything is bigger in the Redwood Forest. It really is big. Can you put your hand next to it to show how big it is? So look how big that one is. It's like the same length as Alexis's hand. And there's a little junior over there. 
Here's another one. Banana slug number three. Banana slug number four. Banana slug number five. We were enamored not only with the fauna of the redwoods, but also the flora. Now Lexus found another heart in nature. A hug from God. What'd you I find? found a puzzle plant. Yeah, now these are well, in Michigan, but they're not nearly as big. There are some taller ones. This is the redwood size puzzle plant. We enjoyed our morning here in the Redwoods, searching for banana slugs and enjoying the serenity of the Redwood Forest. There's just something about a morning campfire. Not just the ambience, but you also get the opportunity to cook breakfast. Breakfast. Now it's time for Mommy and Me Review. We stayed here at the Wawala River Redwood Resort and it was wonderful here. It's like staying right here in the midst of the Redwood Forest. Mm hmm What do you think of it? Well, I really like um all like I really like all the campsites and I love the river and I love all the banana slugs. No, they were pretty awesome. How many banana slugs did you find? Seven. Seven and we had a really nice morning fire watching the sun just beaming through the redwoods this morning and there's even a river to plan too, isn't there? Mm -hmm. So I would say what we do, give it a walk with thumbs, thumbs up. up. So there were a couple wonky things where the both the electrical and water were on the opposite side. So we just put our hose right under there and there's an electrical that we were able to glue, connect in the front. So here is banana slug number seven. So overall, a really fun stay here in the redwood forest. Iridessa was quite at home, tucked back in the woods there. Now we are off to California one. Going down to Pismo Beach. You and I have come a long way together. You and I have got a long way to go. You don't have to ask me now and never. Because I'm already yours and you'll always be mine. Some people call it Gualala, but the natives call it Walala. This comes from an Indian phrase, which means where the water flows down, which makes sense, for the river goes out to the ocean right across from the center of town, right by that big sandbar where the whales stop for lunch every day. There we go. Yes. Now we are leaving Olala River Redwood Park, very carefully inching our way betwixt the redwood trees. The scrub jay bids us well. <laughs> and the banana slugs wave goodbye. That's right. The banana slugs are going to miss you, Alexis. That's the same little dog we get across. Oh, yeah. So, Mommy, what number is this? Oh, look, it's a phone box. Well, they even have phone books here. Yeah, this, this campground definitely had an old traditional feel, like your parents and grandparents camped here. One to ten, what number was this campground? I mean, as far as a rating goes, mm -hmm. it'd be hard to say. I'd have to like analyze that a little bit better because there were things that were a little bit wonky about it, like the electrical and the and the water. For me, it was about eight. Apgar was nine, and South Beach was nine. Aria, I think I could probably agree with that. Yeah, that's the I way out, right? Yeah. I can't really say there's a campground I didn't like on this trip. Yeah, no, I I can agree with that. They all had like ups and they all had pros and cons. 
Man, there's like a million scrub jays. I know, there's definitely a lot of scrub jays. Scrub jay, scrub jay, scrub jay, banana slug, banana slug, banana slug. I know, slug. there are creatures here, for sure. Am I a tree? Am I stuck in the breeze? Am I unable to move but still able to breathe? Am I wanting to feel something more than a thing? Am I wondering how I can feel more free? I think I'm a tree. If I were stuck in the breeze, it would be happier than ever and it would have everything. But since that can't happen, I'll always be frozen. I'll be stuck in my ways. I don't think I choose them. I just moved this in that little cloth area. It looked like there was a banana slug. Of course, it was probably just one of those yellow leaves, but for a distance. Well, that might be a banana slug. There are a lot of banana slugs around. Mm -hmm. Oh, is that the dump station right there? Even the dump station has a cute little sign by it. How does it feel being the pooper releaser? It's always such a joy to take care of this business first thing in the morning. Now it's time to get back on California One and head to Pismo Beach. Or at least that was our plan. Stay tuned in our next video where things don't quite go as planned, but at least we get a beautiful, bright, sunny day to Airstream California One. Thank you so much for watching and have a blessed day. Six little banana slugs in the redwood forest. Or no, do that in G-rated.